uh, Secretary, magandang umaga ulit. Tapos ano po ang uh, inyong mandato under this subcluster within the context of your cluster para po masigurong yung ating bansa, uh, Attorney Gabi, ay talagang mag yung sovereignty ma-preserve uh, from internal threats at saka external threats na rin po. Ako ay naghanda ng uh, isang uh, pambungad at pananalita at uh, ayam yung masahin ko ang Sige aking po. Uh, hinanda. Sige po. Mga kababayan, as your Secretary of National Defense, let me apprise you of the humble deeds of your Department of National Defense, or DND, for the last 12 months. Entrusted with the mandate to oversee the implementation of the defense and security policies of our Republic and ensure its sovereignty and the integrity of its national territory, we began our task based on the established ideals of our new national leadership, good governance, transparency, and accountability. Our first act was to formulate a national defense policy. This is the fundamental guideline of your DND on how to implement a rational and doable national defense strategy that would protect our sovereignty and territorial integrity and ensure lasting peace and stability. With your DND, with its agencies, the Armed Forces of the Philippines, the Office of Civil Defense, the Government Arsenal, the Philippine Defense uh, Veterans Affairs Office, and the uh, National Defense College of the Philippines, and the Veterans Memorial Medical Center, thereafter, created a unified medium-term defense capability development plan from 2011 to 2016. Considering our meager resources, we devised and adopted the defense system of management for a more prudent, efficient, effective, and honest utilization of our resources based on the real needs of our agencies. In the pursuit of attaining lasting internal peace, we have implemented internal peace and security plan or the Bayanihan, which involves an all sectors of society approach of winning the peace for national unity and solidarity. On the whole, we have a proposed National Defense Act that if eventually approved would enable your DND to be more responsive to the current and evolving developments in our domestic, regional, and global security environments. Today we are very resolute in our goal of upgrading our armed forces, security equipment, and hardware. In land, on air, and sea, our armed forces of the Philippines should be able to perform its constitutional mandate of protecting our sovereignty and territorial integrity. In the area of instituting reforms, we have made specific changes in the management of our financial and logistical resources. We can now assure our citizens that your DND and armed forces are now properly spending every peso of our taxpayers' money. And I am here to renew my pledge that there will be no corruption under my watch. Mm -hmm. I likewise wish to reaffirm our military's commitment in the protection of human rights, respect for international humanitarian law, and abidance with the rule of law. I am also pleased to let you know that we have made concrete strides in our national disaster <coughs> risk reduction endeavors. We have already gained the approval of our different stakeholders on our NDRRM framework that was signed on 16 June last month. We are now in the formulation stage of our plan of actions that would place our NDRRM framework into proper implementation. In addressing the current financial problem brought about by the huge monetary amount needed to pay the pensions of our retired military personnel, we are now in the process of drafting a proposed law on Philippine military pension system. With the passage of this new law, we will be able to solve this lingering problem affecting the financial benefits due to our veterans. There are so many tasks that lie ahead for the betterment of our government and people that your DND should relentlessly and devote